Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then make sure to subscribe and also follow me on my Instagram. In today's video, I have another perfume review video and it is from one of my absolutely favorite, favorite brands and it is Maison Magella. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Maison Magella, there are a um, Belgian brand and uh, obviously they're based now in Paris. So the head office are in Paris, so they make amazing, amazing women's and men's wear. Um, shoes, accessories, as well as uh, fragrances. Once you're done with this video, make sure to go on the Magella website and check out their stuff or watch the fashion shows on YouTube here because they're absolutely amazing and the way um, they're designed is just phenomenal and out of your mind. They're very constructive and very like out there basically. So it's not everybody's taste but some, some people and including me really really like it as well as their fragrances. Now talking over the fragrances, oh my god. I'm sure you guys have seen the replica family range. Um, now, let me quickly tell you a little bit of introduction of what the replica fragrance is. Basically, they are like a reproduction of memories and uh, scenery, basically. Now, I'm going to tell you what's written on the uh, packaging in here. So, it's a reproduction of familiar scents and moments of varying locations and uh, periods. Uh, this explains it basically, so it should remind you of a scene, of a memory that you are basically wearing the fragrance. Now every fragrance is completely different and they have a bunch of different fragrances but in today's video I'm going to talk about specifically about the Jazz Club fragrance. So the unique selling point of these fragrances are obviously in the packaging and it's very simple, very classic. I'm going to talk about the packaging a little bit later but um, the bottle is just amazing and this is how it looks. Um, the Jazz Club is one of my favorite, favorite smells. Um, I'm gonna go to the notes. So, with this top note, we start off a lemon and neroli oil. So the lemon neroli oil is uh, very clean, very fresh and citrusy and also has pink pepper as well. Now, uh, you wouldn't expect pink pepper as a top note because it's very spicy, very peppery obviously and together with citrus it has a contrast. So they've done this very unique and they had the neroli and lemon as a citrusy fresh note at the top as well as the spiciness as well. Middle note there is sage, um, vetiver and rum as the note. It's very again very similar to the top notes. The sage and the vetiver are very clean, very fresh kind of notes and the rum is very contrasty, very dark and this is one of the main ingredients which is rum inside the fragrance because it's very heavy and um, delicious basically of the rum. And last as a base note there is tobacco leaf and vanilla bean. Again similar to the top and middle note they have this contrast between the, the notes basically. Um, so the Vanilla obviously very sweet and very delicious kind of note and the tobacco leaf is very like a heavy scented note so they have a very um, unique concept so the whole top middle and the base don't have a contrast between each other so it really clashes so you wouldn't expect to have this kind of notes in the same kind of row basically hence why this fragrance is very unique and different so <sighs> it's so amazing I can smell the the vanilla and the rum and it's very delicious and honest, honestly it's a very unique fragrance and it's one of my absolute favorites. Now talking about the packaging of the fragrance or the bottle of the fragrance, now every fragrance of the replica, replica fragrances has a unique picture so the picture is only on the box on the outside box so um, it's very different with the jazz club there was like a man smoking a cigar sitting in like a nice couch or something like that in Brooklyn in New York um, so you can imagine what kind of images there are but definitely go and check them out on the website I'm gonna link it down below um, so speaking about the bottle now the bottle is very unique I'm gonna do some close-ups for you guys so you guys can see it properly so the bottle is very unique it looks like a um, like an apothecary kind of a white basically very clean very simple it has like a thread around the uh, top here hasn't got a cap that's the only thing that some people are curious about. It doesn't cover the cap, so this is the way it is, basically. So that's the replica in there, it says what it is. And it has like four subcategories. So it has originally, and it says the name of the fragrance, which this one is the Jazz Club. The second row says Provence and Period. So basically the time, what is inspired of. So and for the Jazz Club is Brooklyn 2013. On the third row, we have Fragrance Description. 
and this one says heavy, um, not heavy, heady cocktails and cigars. So this basically should remind you the scene of this fragrance and style description says male fragrance. Now, it says male fragrance and in some other fragrances of Replica it says female fragrances. However, they're all unisex fragrances. Now, in the newest one that came out, uh, which is like the Lemon Tree, the Whispers, Coffee Break, these ones are the new ones. They all have unisex fragrances written. So, I feel like the brand is gonna change it in the future as unisex fragrance at the bottom here. So, don't get confused because they're all unisex fragrance, female and male can wear this fragrance because it's very versatile and diverse basically. And at the bottom it says Maison Majella Paris. Now this is how it looks, this is all like in a kind of a th threaded, um, how would you say, it's patch basically, but it's sticked on. So yeah, this is how the fragrance looks, very clean, very simple and very eye-catching basically because none of the other fragrances in the fragrance market have a bottle like this except Maison Magella. And guys, trust me, whenever I wear this I get so many compliments. Now everybody uh, who walks past me is like, ooh, what are you wearing? And uh, or I always tell them it is the Jazz Club by Maison Magella. And also I can smell it on myself. It is a very long lasting fragrance. Now, before I forget, it is the Aide Toilette fragrance. However, it is very long lasting and uh, I can smell it on myself and you can smell it for yourself after a few hours as well uh, if you want to you can top it up to kind of refresh yourself but honestly if you spritz on the neck and on the pulse of your wrist you perfectly and you don't need to um, spray a lot basically and honestly this will last you a long time as well now speaking of the price um this one is a 100 ml size they only come in a 100 ml size which is this size the 100 ml is 98 pounds in different countries charge differently so just double check with the retailers but um, in the UK it's retailed at £98 it uh, only comes in one size however if you want a travel size or mini size they only come in a 10 ml travel size together in a pack with other fragrances of the Majala range and they are for £45 so you have three in a pack and they're £45 and it has the jazz club inside which is only 10 ml each so I'm gonna link some um, links down below for you guys to go and check it out if you want to for the travel size basically. Speaking about availability, in the UK, in stores, it is available in John Lubis, Selfridges and in Harrods. Um, I definitely suggest you come and check out the Harrods branch because you will find everything in there as well as in Selfridges because they have more products and they have more varieties basically of the replica Mesa Majala range and if you want to order it online obviously you can order it from the online source from those retailers as mentioned as well as you can order it in Feel Unique and in Amazon so I'm gonna leave loads of links for you guys to go and check it out go and explore it um, I'm honestly you will love it and uh, whenever you pass by a counter or whenever you pass by Harris Selfridges or John Lewis Definitely go to the fragrance department, check out the Maison Marjana fragrances because I'm sure if you don't like the Jazz Club, I'm sure there's something else that fit everybody's suitability and it will definitely meet your needs. Um, they have honestly a lot of different ranges of fragrance smells and I'm sure you will find the perfect one which is suitable for you need. Alright then guys, do let me know in the comments if you uh, like this fragrance, if you already bought it, what do you think about it or if you have any other recommendations of the Magella range or any other kind of perfume recommendations that I need to go and try it out just do let me know in the comments below so that's it for this video and I will see you in the next one